After a relaxing night camped on Donnelly's Creek, we were all up early to tackle the iconic flats track. Deep in the mountains of the Victorian high country, let me tell you now, it is anything but flat. I've been hearing of this hill for a long time now, but once I saw it in person, the nerves began. Massive ruts, rock steps, and off camber sections, this track will push the most well set up four wheel drives to the limit. Proudly supported by Opus Campers, Ultimate Nine, Tread, Superior Engineering, GME, and Impapa. Should be good fun. Dan's up first. All right, these tracks are starting to get real good now. Rut it out, got some deep holes in that. A little bit of wheel lifting going on. We'll have a bit of a crack and see if we can make it look hard. Won't have to take much in this thing to make it look hard. <laughs> It's oh, about an inch off the... <laughs> oh, my quarter is actually nah, like 10 wish. mil off that log. <laughs> I thought I'd pick the hardest line, but obviously... See, it didn't have to take long and we're making it look hard already. <laughs> It really felt like it was gonna roll over and then it just like went, it just fell and was like, it ain't going over. Well, with a massive wheel lift and recovery within the first 30 meters of the track and the hardest section still to come, this was going to be wild. Yeah. So you only got to push in one, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's better. Dan is running four inch lift 35s on his GQ and his diffs were getting caught up big time. These ruts were deep. It's normally me ploughing the track with my diff, so at least it's Dan today. I might go that way. <laughs> Doing this hill in one go per car. I'm so hot and exhausted. It's a long way up. And here comes the toughest bit on flats track, which has claimed many vehicles. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Amazing how it just kicks it up like that. Right. It's like it feels good and then the back just goes whoop and then it falls up. To avoid any damage to his rear quarters, Dan opted for the high line. Up, my turn. Get me up, she's down the car at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't instill confidence in me. <laughs> All right, the nerves are up. Not sure whether to go first or second gear low on this, to be honest. I'll try first. It's better off trying slow than then try a bit more when you need it. Both lockers in. I'm just going to commit through this spot. <laughs> section done. That wasn't too bad, I'm just like all nervous this <laughs> I just grabbed second and <laughs> buried the diffs and went for it. I've got this big rear diff brace. Yeah, that's not bad. And that holds me up. So it looks like your rear diff was just burying. Yeah. The climb was smooth sailing so far, but I did still have the big wheel lift section to go. If you're enjoying the episode, guys, make sure to subscribe as we're pumping out videos every week. I didn't like the look of the High Line Dan took. Much more scary in real life. So I decided to send it straight for the hole and hold on. distribution much better than what I used to have it. Front sway bar out, rear sway bar in. Uh, all my weight in the middle and down low, it seems to work much better than what it used to. So I'm just parked at the bottom of, I think it's flats track. I don't know why they call it flats, it's straight up mountain. Roberto is running 3 inch lift, 35s and twin lockers on his GQ and plenty of power in his built TD. After seeing Dan and myself drive the hill, he wasn't going to be hanging around. Mate, the dashi was off in the forest. <laughs> Full commitment though, it was good. Well, you sort of have to. I don't have reduction gears and I've got three nines, so that's like as slow as I can go. Yeah. After watching you, Zach, it seemed like I didn't want to go have another go. Get wheeling. And just do a, have a bit more momentum to that hole. I think got to tip back over. I think having suspension set up like yours is more, you know, for flexi holes and. Built yeah. for this sort of stuff. Yeah. Mine Where is doesn't it? have, like, mine has less down travel, but I've got more up travel. Mine's, uh, mine's more for yeah, rallying along the, you know, the bumpy stuff. Different car, from different setup. Fun. We're all up that flats track now, so I'll just jump back down the bottom. It was just a little loop back down on O'Donnelly's Creek, and then we're heading Woods Point direction. Dan's just taking us a few various directions over that way, so we'll see what he comes up with. Now, if you're wondering where Gary in the MUX came from, he decided to sit flats track out as it really isn't suitable for a setup like his, but he was back into the action now.
First time in Woods Point, mate. What's your thoughts? Oh yeah, feels cheap. A bit slow service, but. <laughs> We have arrived at Woods Point, which is a awesome old little country town out here in the hills of the high country. Pretty famous little one. We got all, we got all the GQs lined up and get a photo there next to the old fuel garage. Nice little look around there in Woods Point. We've come out of town, turn right onto Weber Spur Track, which we're heading back out, right out into the mountains. We're heading out to do one particular section of it, which is quite a difficult hill, sort of like flat track we did this morning. Last time I did in the GU and I had to winch it, so we'll see if I can do a bit better in the GQ today. Here we are, we have a spur, Dan's up first. We got a hell of a hill climb. Let's get into it. See how this ledge goes. It's getting pretty big actually. See if I can go straight up the guts, but if that doesn't work, we'll go around it. turn got both lockers in I'm just gonna go first gear and don't think I'll need too much momentum it is a very big step just grabbed just grabbed I think I went a little bit slower than the other boys and that was kind of the limit of slowness I tackle this top section pretty mad wombat holes up here so see how we go made it look like absolutely nothing but this obstacle is bloody wild in real life nailed the line with Birdo conquering the obstacle too it was time for my redemption after I failed it last time in the GU It was my wheel lift bigger than you guys? Was my line a bit different? Your wheel come up pretty high. Yeah, I think I was too far in the hole. I thought you might have just been going influencer mode, you know, like wheel lift. <laughs> <laughs> just going for extra drama. Yeah. Dramatic music going over the top. Mate, it'll be like dramatic music I can most dramatic music I can find. <laughs> down the river now for a swim and cool off and then we'll probably find camp soon. Oh yeah that's right I said too we had to winch it last time in GU so we got it done in the GQ which is not as well set up people always ask which one I prefer driving GU GQ GQ that's one of the reasons why it handles all that stuff better the GU just went for the sky and like I've improved driving ability and confidence since then as well like the ability to sort of know that the car's gonna lift the wheel and just hold it steady through it. We didn't get too far and we decided we're just gonna camp here at the bottom of this Weber Spur track. On the river here is a beautiful clear river down there.
Nice little relaxing afternoon here at camp. I reckon I'll finish up filming for the day there. And we'll check back in in the morning, see what Dan has planned for us. Dad had to head off home early the next morning in the MUX, so the adventure was coming to an end for him. Packed up, off again this morning. Nice little creek crossing here to start the day. It's a lovely little creek. It's got a bit of flow to it, but. A nice little relaxing creek crossing to start the morning. Then a few hundred meters later, bam. A nasty near vertical high country hill, rock steps, ruts, and off camber. Rear locker ain't working. What did you say? Rear locker's not working. Yeah. Just go, go back. Go, go back. Keep going back. Keep going back. Yeah, yeah have a go at that because it's easy to back up again. Like just a bit of moment and see what it does. many of these high country hills you drive, they always make you nervous. Adrenaline was up and I was realising Dan had one mission today, take us to the toughest tracks he knew in the mountains. Very nicely driven. I'm sweating, this is hard work walking up these high country hills, but it's a little warm up hill Dan's taking us to for the morning. One thing to remember when you're driving up these hills, there's always bloody good views waiting for you at the top. We're up that hill climb and then we've sort of got a bit of an overgrown section here. We're following through as we drop back down into the valley and then Dan says a couple of creek crossings and nice sections down here. I don't really know the name of any of these tracks, it's just follow the leader today. We're way out here in our country in the mountains, these are all these local areas. Four-wheel drivers keeping the tracks open. Well. We opened it properly, make sure we can get two cars through. A lot of trees you come across. Suzuki Sierra whip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see that all the time. Like you come to a tree that's down, and like oh, you yeah. can barely fit your car through well, what's it. What's worse is they'll be up here, you know, the logs up here and then the logs up in the air and they cut it like here. It's like one more cut, <laughs> one more cut, it's like yeah. two seconds work. Little track clearing and we'll keep going down. And then just out the other side of the creek, a very steep, rutted out hill climb. All right, so here we go. This one has got a massive rut on the driver's side and I'm already stuck. You, know, you can't really stay out of it. So, don't know how this will go. I'll play the diff marks for the rest of them. You can definitely see the first person disadvantage on a track like this hadn't been driven in a while and Dan has the job of clearing the ruts for the rest of us. Bottom ruts cleared out, the 
top section of this climb is a bit more rocky and you can actually pick a lion. Come out of the other way, tonight. Down through the creek and then up this long hill. In the ruts, not much I can do here. I'm in second, just not too much trouble, just a bit of steady momentum. I got bar work and white tyres to protect me through this stuff. I reckon Dan's done most of the ploughing for us. That was a good heel climb, that one. It's my turn, we're gonna see how we go. I don't quite have the bar work they all have, so hopefully the bank isn't too close. Can you come get my flare? Do you want back in there? Yeah, yeah. They, um, they definitely do. If you go back, I might be able to move the log because you're just going to like jam it up in yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. so I didn't break it. I was avoiding using the front locker for all that deep rut stuff because the other day when I broke my CV the tyre grabbed the bank and it was too much load and that's what broke the CV so that's why the idea behind that was. A little bit of flare damage there she's still mostly on. Rear bar saved you a bit too. Mate that rear bar now that I've welded on bro. Oh look at this excavation. Yeah. What goes up must come down. Back down the other side of the mountain we go. Coming up to a nice river crossing, some nice ledges dropping into it, and then some nice ruts and a rock step on the way out. All right, we've got a very steep rock ledge drop off, drop off down here towards the creek. A few ruts. Cool creek crossing this one. So I'm about to drop down this rock step, a couple of ledges. Pretty fun little track it looks. It looks like it'd be real fun in the in the, in the rain. Steppy. I'll just try and film a couple of bits of it, but it's hard. It's very long. sick of doing out in the high country as we're coming up the top of this track now the clouds are moving around us and we're disappearing into the clouds at the top of this mountain which I have no idea what it's called but we're up here down off the ranges back towards Walhalla 
We're gonna do one last track before Dan and Brad go home, and Birdo, myself and Kai go find camp. Fulton's Creek track, which is meant to be a fun one in the area, but we've got to like the bottom of it, the start of the main climb, and there's a rolled GQ up there. So we'll have to sort of go see what's going on and uh, I'm not sure if we can get through or not. Everyone's all right, it happened yesterday, but they've come back in to recover it today. But I'm not exactly sure what our plan is yet. The guys have moved the car far enough, so we're gonna try and sneak past him. We've had a little bit of rain, so it might be a little bit slippery, but hopefully we can get past him. Just hold up there, I forgot they had to pack the strap up. Not bad. Bloody no compassion with you bunch. Bloody influences, mate. I've got to get the shot. Got to get the shot, there's no point doing it. <laughs> if you didn't get any shots, did you even go full drive? Then I was in full focus mode, not to just drive that and get out of there, out of their way. All right, this crossing's usually pretty deep, so we'll see how we go here. Hopefully, it's not overly there on this track on the way down the other side. Second crossing now, which Dan said might even be a little bit deeper. <laughs> so, good fun, but it's good to have some deep crossing because the rain is coming down. Yeah. What's the temperature like? It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Just dive in. No messing about. <laughs> Had a little swim to freshen up, but now we've got to get back up out of this valley. It's raining. The track's getting very slippery. I think it's like the main last hill climb, but it's going to be a bit of a sin. This hill, I tell you that, he'll be into it. We're in a bit of rain now, so it's clay and slaty rock. It's been a lot less grip than we've had all day, so this should be fun. Yeah. There's plenty of grip. It's slippery, but there is plenty of grip. I have got the tyres down to 10. Dan and Brad have headed off. We've just grabbed ourselves a spot here in the bush, in the clouds. Kai wanted to camp in the clouds tonight, so he says he got it. Oh, in the clouds that like is, you want it. That's not how it works. You literally like just wanted to come here because there's reception. <laughs> <laughs> Busted. Yeah, we came to this spot because it's where we had lunch the other day at the top of Deep Creek tracks and we wasn't, it's like a cave from where we came out. We knew the reception, I gotta catch up on some work stuff tonight. But yeah, it's raining, it's cloudy, we'll probably set up and that'll be us for the night. So, we pulled up at camp, it's raining. 
I'm up here in, in the in the dashi. Got the light on. Got the phone charger. Well, who's out here? Who's it? What are you doing out there? Mate, how's, how's life up in luxury there? Yeah, mate, I got, I got the light on, I got the phone charger, I got a bloody cold beverage. Yeah, we're going to be down here. You'll be sitting up there, like, nice big comfy mattress, plenty of room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you squished up in a swag under an awning. You look like a duck. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit wet. Yeah. And what, you, you broke a pole? Yeah, I've been down here in the rain with <laughs> broken poles. I reckon you've been setting up for 15 minutes and I've been set up in like a minute and a half. I'd say 30 seconds for you. I'm talking about plugging power in, going down, getting a drink, cleaning yeah. my feet. Cooked your dinner, got yourself a drink, did the whole thing. Yeah, and you're still down there. Ah, well. <laughs> <sighs> Double time now, the gloves are coming out. That's it. You're not even on it, you turn it Oh, it's not gonna push. Loser, <laughs> loser. <laughs> If I had my car here, I would have just double flipped it and launched it. <laughs> you would have. What do you reckon, guy? It's about time you back in the good car, eh? Yep. What do you reckon? How much luck, mate? Nah. <laughs> Come on. I thought you got your technique all wrong. Got long, slow, slow. Long, slow. No, it still looks up. Oh, man, give me a Out. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah. It's just me up, punching me in the chest. I'll punch you in the head in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 